Uh, obviously, I'm Jenna, if you've been watching the channel at all. <laughs> but look who I got to come today. Hi. It's Dan. Yep. Um, so Dan comes with me to almost all of the growth ultrasounds. That way, if there is good news, bad news, or whatever, he is there to hear it. One in person, so we have two sets of ears on it. And then uh, two, just because uh, support is good. Mm -hmm. Um, especially when potentially there can be scary news at those kinds of ultrasounds. So I last updated you when I was around 19 weeks and I am now 27 weeks today. Um, I will put in a little uh, video of my my bump. I am feeling bigger than I have uh, with some of the previous pregnancies but um, I think that's to be expected by the time you've had a couple. Uh, so, uh, chugging along, um, it's been so two months since I updated you. We have now had two ultrasounds in that time. Oh. Yes, because after the, oh, you kicked a chair, that's okay. <laughs> because after the last one, we got news, but I wasn't quite ready to share publicly yet. I wanted to, I, I emotionally wanted to have confirmation that that was actually what we were looking at um, before I shared it because this whole experience for discovering uh, PRS via ultrasound and during a pregnancy is very up and down. Mm -hmm. um, and I emotionally get really nervous trusting good news, actually. <laughs> like, I feel like... I don't want to let my guard down too much. I don't want to believe and hope that there's good news and then be disappointed, I guess. So I tend to be a little bit more reserved. Um, so we'll let Dan mm -hmm. share it because you guys don't get to hear him talk as much. <laughs> <laughs> I blabber, so. <laughs> um, why don't you tell them uh, the good news that they found at the last ultrasound so not the one we did today but a month ago okay so um two months ago we had gotten the vsd diagnosis mm -hmm. and then uh we came back a month ago to do the follow-up mm -hmm. and during that scan the tech and the doctors confirmed that they were not seeing a hole if there was one it had closed up on its own or there had never been one in the first place but there's no hole in the heart <laughs> And it's, uh, I don't know if they commonly, like, see one when there isn't or if there, there just was one and it closes, it can close in that short amount of time. Either way, we will take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very excited. Yeah. Um, and I, obviously that's good news, but I didn't want to publicly share it until we had it confirmed at today's ultrasound, which they did. So at least that is off our plate, which is great news. Yeah. Um, and then we got some other interesting slash good news at today's ultrasound. Again, I'm 27 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we've been having growth ultrasounds every four weeks. And so first of all, I think probably the most important one is that they got a really good view and angle on the palette today. And uh, what they what they saw was the hard palette looks solid and has no gaps. The hard palette is okay, right. we think. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, we did not have a consult today. We have requested one for the next ultrasound. Mm -hmm. um, so I still have. Some questions slash I want to be reassured by the doctor, but um, basically, even if the hard palate is okay, that doesn't necessarily clear us from a possible cleft in the soft palate. Right. Right. Um, but like, it is very positive news if they are not seeing that. That does still allow the possibility that the baby could come out and not have a cleft. Um, again, my nerves, <laughs> anxiety, I don't think is, will let me do that yet. <laughs> yep. I'm still very like, are you sure? Um, mainly because 
ultrasound technology, while it's amazing and, and has advanced a ton, is not foolproof. Mm -hmm. And um, I, my big fear is that we are going to get reassurances during ultrasounds that everything is okay, and that um, then at the birth you have this big shock to the system that it's not. And I am like so nervous about it mm -hmm. that like it's it it makes me like almost suspicious of sharing the good news too like but I also want to be realistic and kind of explain what is happening yeah. in real time if I can um, because it really is just very up and down as far as like the roller coaster of emotions and um, the other thing is they did not see a clearer view of the chin. The baby was tucking their face down, had like a knee in front of her face at one point. Like, um, But she's turned. She is uh, head down now. Yep. Mama's happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like nervous. So hopefully she stays in that position. Um, but they couldn't get a good view of the profile enough to do any kind of diagnosis assessment, assessment kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, uh, oh, the other piece before I continue that thought was that we did get to physically uh, see her swallow. Which was cool. Which is one, really cool. Yeah. And two, I think a good sign. Um, the tech said that they don't practice breathing until 32, 32 weeks. weeks, so later on. Yeah. So it's not necessarily indicative of breathing ability if there is PRS stuff, mm -hmm. but at least she is practicing uh, br uh, swallowing for eating purposes. And the fluid levels look good, um, which is also good. So um, fluid, and we did this with the other two pregnancies as well, but the fluid we monitor every time. So um, basically what that means, all of those pieces, is that we are not out of the, like, zone of PRS, meaning like there's still no assurances or that it's not what we're looking at, even if the hard palate is looking okay. Um, and so again, we just did this this morning. So like my brain is still a little like, what does this mean? Like, am I supposed to panic? <laughs> Should I be panicking? Don't panic. See, like, that's why I wanted him to do this is like, I want if you can share a little bit about like how you're processing because one people are asking a lot like how's dan doing how is dan doing i mean mainly because i overshare <laughs> um well and everyone loves you so like that makes sense but um we have definitely had two different approaches to this mm -hmm. to the news where it's like i'm like emotionally processing like the worst and I'm trying to work out all my fears and like uh, process if this is the worst case scenario, how am I going to do it? Mm -hmm. Whereas Dan is it's so, I don't know if it's just because you're so logical, <laughs> but you're like, okay, <laughs> like he's very even keeled and it's not that you have no emotion around it. Yeah. It's that like, and maybe it's the pregnancy hormone, so it could be that, but I do feel like I am having all the feels yeah. and you're just coming at it more pragmatically here and, and you talk <laughs> and op optimistic i think my natural inclination is to sort of go this is fine everything's fine well the house is on <laughs> fire <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, don't panic and remember to bring your towel like, <laughs> That's a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay, right? see, I need to read them. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> but my, my point is, like, there's the, the logical side of me is, like, why are you panicking? We don't even know if there's a problem. We've, we've gotten a lot of possibles, maybes, might yeah. be, sort of, and until we see it for real there isn't anything we can do other than just monitor it. Now, the, the other half of that is emotionally, yes, doing all the processing now makes it so that if something happens later, we have, we have done some processing and yeah. it's not hitting us completely like a ton of bricks. Yes. Um, so I get that side of it too. I, yeah. I just have to kind of 
get my gears meshed in, in that mode. <laughs> Well, and I think it goes to show that there's no, there's no perfect path here. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, I think you do the best you can with the information. And like, um, I mean, I think our, our dynamic has been helpful because there's a little checks and balances on both sides as far as like, if I am like really freaking out or spiraling, like he's still calm enough to offer some reassurance. And if he seems too calm, I poke the bear a little bit and go, hey. You need to think about Why this. are you not panicked? <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh, you know? <laughs> maybe I should panic a little. <laughs> well, not panic, but, yeah. I, you know. Um, all right, last few things, and then I'll, I'll, we can ramp it up. But, um, so, baby is actually on the large side. <laughs> a little bit? I think they said, like, 95th percentile no. right now, or, like, a week no. ahead. 97.8%. Hey, I have to deliver this baby. <laughs> Shush. It's uh, fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, okay, that's a big baby. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that will stay the same for, throughout the pregnancy, well, but may and, explain the back pain. Well, and the, the nerd in me is like, well, that's an average... Statistic, the, the, the driving factor in that, because it's an average of four different measurements, and the biggest one is her tummy. So the, maybe she just had a lot to eat. Right. <laughs> I don't know, because some of the other metrics were like 49%. Yeah. So that's just something that they're, they'll be monitoring and watching for. I don't know. I have no idea if that changes care plans like towards the end of the pregnancy it probably will depend on how it progresses mm -hmm. but um I feel like there's one other thing no we did it right we did can't see the chin palate is okay big. baby's real big we saw the swallowing yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so that's where we're at um like I said, in another month, we'll have another ultrasound, mm -hmm. and um, we will try to share, like, if there's relevant stuff, um, as most of you could, can kind of tell, like, it's really just wait and see. Like, at the end of the day, that's kind of what it is. Like, you can get some encouraging news or some indicators that, like, hey, this is more severe than we were originally thinking. Um, not the case for what we're seeing right now, but until the baby comes out and you can physically check them for a cleft and monitor their breathing, like we may not know for sure. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, I'll be here trying not to freak out <laughs> and <laughs> trying to like trust what they're seeing on the ultrasound while still preserving my walls enough where mm -hmm. I feel safe. And making plans. And making plans. I like to have plans mm -hmm. and make sure we have the support set up that we need either way and mm -hmm. all of those things that really you should, or you should, the we do for a baby anyway. Mm -hmm. Which you have been doing an incredible job of, by the way. Aww. I haven't, we haven't even started baby prep. I've been handling the you've other been, stuff. You've been doing a lot of coordination. I consider that a lot of, you know, upfront prep effort. Thanks, honey. I, I did prep things for the maternity photo shoot. <laughs> and planning parents. Yeah, we are, um, all of our, all of our parents live out of town. So we've been working on scheduling, uh, visits and then seeing what works for everybody and, uh, I do have a, a list of things I need to do before the baby comes. I have not done any of them. <laughs> but um, but you've made the list. Oh, thanks, honey. <laughs> um, all right. Well, it's good to see you. It's good to see Dan. Hey. <laughs> we got to get him to do this more. But uh, he's, he's home in the middle of the day while the kids are napping because of the ultrasound. So mm -hmm. we don't always get him during filming time. Nope. Is there anything else you would like to share? Since, since you don't always get to share. Uh, I'm excited about this uh, news today. Um, I'm looking forward to a month from now. Another growth ultrasound. Okay. Right. I thought it was a trick question. <laughs> I don't know.
You guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> Maybe you could go take a nap. Well, I have to get ready for a date. <laughs> That's right. We're doing Valentine's Day today. Yeah, you see all the hearts in the background. We're all decked out for the holidays. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, it's good to see you guys. Bye. See you next time. See you. Oh, sorry. I'm in your shadow. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.